welcome back to another video. This is day 15 of our COVID-19 UK lockdown and so this is video number 15. So I thought today um, I would use a range of different colours and do sort of the like a, a little rainbow on the nails and just to sort of represent a little bit of hope for uh, coronavirus. Uh, I know that there's a lot of children are painting um, rainbows on windows and this is just my little way of just giving a bit of hope for this virus. So most of the products that I'm using today are all from Glitter Bells. I'm using two other colours which are from Easy Flow and the white that I'm putting on at the minute is one that I pre-mix myself. So to do that I just took a regular white and mixed it with clear to give me this sort of milky white. And this is going to be the background for um, my little rainbow design. All the fingers bar this ring finger will all have a full base of that milky white that I've, I've pre-mixed apart from this one because I, I want the bottom of this nail to be a glass finish. So I'm just spreading it down just to cover the nail bed area and that will make the rainbow, the pastel rainbow sort of consistent throughout the nails. So I hope everyone's keeping well and you know during this and keeping your spirits up. I know that it's hard um, not being able to see family and friends but we will get through this. And it will be glad, you know, it'll be nice to return back to some form of normality and um, hopefully this will come to an end soon. So now I've done the little finger and the ring finger. They're all done the same. I'm just going to skip ahead to where I'm going to start to apply the colours. So this design, it's going to be sort of like a really, really soft um, pastel rainbow, just sort of spread down the nail. It's not sort of in a rainbow shape, but it's all the colours that you would find in the rainbow. And then I'm also going to be adding just some of the cloud designs as well. Um, and the first colour that I've went in with is called Violet Skies, and that is from Glitter Bells. And the second one that I used was Unicorn Tears. And the one that I'm using right now is the Easy Flow one, and that's called Rock Candy. And this little one is another Easy Flow one, and it's called Lemon Drop. I used it in one of my other videos um, with like lemon ombre, ombre nails, and it, it turned out really, really nice. So I've just went in now with a bit of Coral Sunrise, and now a little bit of Petal Candy. And that one was Violet Skies again. I'm just deepening up that petal candy there, just up at the Violet Skies. And now I'm ending with a little bit of Dazzling Purple. So as you can see, it is just sort of pastel colours, just the rainbow colours just followed right down the nail. So I started this nail again with the um, the violet skies and then I went in with some of the unicorn tears and back into the rock candy and the lemon drop and mixing those together that actually created like this green colour and now I'm just getting in with some petal candy and that I think is all the colours that I use on this nail and then I'll go in with my opal crush and some of these little holographic butterflies. So I really want the bottom of this nail to be like 
transparent like glass so I'm not putting a lot of the opal crush on very just bits here and there just so that um, the glass tips are showing through. To adhere those little um, butterflies up in the rest of the nail, I've just used clear acrylic and then I've just set the butterflies into the clear acrylic. So onto the ring finger now and I'm starting with petal candy this time. Just change it up a little bit. And again, I've went in with the violet skies. These two colours, I don't know, they just go together so well. Um, I think they've been really, really nice in an ombre set. So that might be something I'll think about. I'm using these acrylic powders really really wet because I only want to have just just a little hint of the color I don't want to have any block color I want to be able to like smudge it out and fade it out and the um, the rock candy and the lemon drop I like to try and put them together just to create that green color and um, because I don't actually think I have a green I'll have to have a look and see if I have a green I'm sure I do somewhere um, but this is doomed for the meantime anyway. So I've just added another couple of butterflies under this nail and that'll just tie in the ring finger as well. It just came to me, I do actually have a green and I totally forgot all about it. Whenever I did my um, CJP nail haul video, I actually ordered a green called Seafoam and it was to do some St. Patrick's Day nails, but with everything that was happening with the lockdown and um, not being able to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, it kind of got blue to the side. So I will try and come up with some idea to use with the green with, and I will do a video with it for you. I'm just finishing off that middle nail again with some of the opal crush and um, because it wouldn't be like me not to use some glitter. I love doing a set of nails where I'm using, you know, lots of different colours because it's just something different, you know, than the normal everyday nails, you know, where a client would get mostly colour and then maybe something on their ring finger. So to get a chance to do, you know, a nice colour for nails, I will jump at it. These little holographic um, butterflies I just got from eBay and they were they were only £1.99 with free postage so I'm so grateful that um, they still sent it out throughout this lockdown and I was able to use them in this video. So thank you. So I'm now going in with, um, it must be one of my favourite ones from Glitter Bells, it's the Broken Gold. So I love it because it just looks like gold leaf and it takes out all the hassle of trying to rip apart gold leaf and I just love it. So 
So to do the cloud design, I'm just using my white um, nail art gel and I'm just using my little um, <laughs> spit it out. I'm just using my little, I still can't get it. Oh my goodness. My striper brush, my little striper brush. And then I'm going in with just a dry brush. Just, I think it's actually um, a paintbrush. It's not even a nail brush. And I'm going in and I'm smudging out those clouds a bit to make them look a bit more fluffy. I think more than two weeks now on lockdown and I'm starting to get like brain fog. I'm start. <laughs> I can't even remember the names of brushes. Oh my goodness. So I'm not really following any pattern when I'm putting these cloud designs on the nails. I'm just, just putting them randomly in different places. So this cloud, when I did it, I actually did it on top of the broken gold, so it wasn't smudging out to be smooth. So I've just taken some acetone on that little um, paintbrush and just took the cloud away and now I'm redoing it just slightly higher. So I went ahead and cured the white nail art gel um, in my LED lamp for 30 seconds and I'm now going to go ahead and cap all the nails in the glass slippers. I know sometimes when I'm capping, um, I use quite a few um, beads of acrylic. It's because the, the temperature of my little studio is so warm that the acrylic is practically curing instantly. Whenever I lay it on the nail, I can see it start to demattify. So I'm just keeping two smaller beads. It's what I'm more comfortable with as well. And you know, who cares how many beads you use as long as it's covered and it's capped and You've got your apex there and everything's in place. Who cares? Now the acrylic's all cured, I'm just going to go in and do my normal filing routine. As you can see, I'm starting at the side walls and I'm making sure they're nice and straight. Um, then I would usually go to the free edge, but because I'm doing a stiletto nail, I just keep going down the side walls. And when I'm um, 
filing. I'm filing in an upwards motion. So all my filing strokes are going up towards the center of the nail. And that's what keeps the height of your apex and nice and flush around the cuticles and then just blend all together so that it's nice and smooth. So every time um, I finish the nails off with a buffer, this is a buffer from CJP and it is a 100, 180 grit buffer. And by using both sides, it gives me that really smooth finish to my nails. And then I'll go in with my alcohol, give them a quick wipe and then it's top coat. Yay, my favorite time. So the top coat I'm using today is from Jellish. It's called Top It Off. And unfortunately, it's not a non-white top coat. Um, it does have a tacky layer when it's cured. And I do find though, whenever you use um, top coats that they're not non-white, sometimes they, they aren't as glossy as they would be. Um, I think that tacky layer, it, it just, I don't know, it just leaves like um, a non-glossy layer. I don't know. I think you know what I mean. Yeah. I have tested it in both like LED lamps and UV lamps to see if it makes a difference and it doesn't really. I still think that the non-white top coats are better. So here's the finished set. If you've liked the, my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can help support me by subscribing now and any new viewers welcome any of my regular viewers hi and i will see you all in the next video bye